Hey everyone, so since October 7th and the war that ensued uh, after uh, in, in Israel and is still going on in Israel, most uh, we've seen a lot of clear support from the Republican side of the aisle. The Democrat side of the aisle uh, has been a little bit more, uh, you know, come and go. Uh, some parts of the party, some segments of the party, yes, some, some segments not, some speaking out of both sides of their mouth. Uh, and so forth. But check out this clip from Bill Clinton, what he has to say regarding the situation in Israel and um, it's speaking to a crowd uh, in, in Michigan as well. Let me talk about the hardest issue here in Michigan is the Middle East. I understand why young Palestinian and Arab Americans in Michigan are, think too many people have died. Since I, I get that. But if you lived in one of those kibbutzim in, in Israel, right next to Gaza, where the people there were the most pro-friendship with Palestine, most pro-two-state solution of any of the Israeli communities, were the ones right next to Gaza. And Hamas butchered them. And so then the people who criticize it are essentially saying, yeah, but look how many people you've killed in Ritalin. So how many is enough for you to kill to punish them for the terrible things they did? That all sounds nice until you realize what would you do if it was your family and you hadn't done anything but support a homeland for the Palestinians, and one day they come for you and slaughter the people in your village, you would say, well, you will have to forgive me. I'm not keeping score that way. It isn't how many we've had to kill, because Hamas makes sure that they're shielded by civilians. They'll force you to kill civilians if you want to defend yourself. And I think part of it is that Hamas did not care about a homeland for the Palestinians. They wanted to kill Israelis and make Israel uninhabitable. Well, I got news for them. They were there first. Before there was their faith existed, they were there in the time of King David and the southernmost tribes had Judea and Samaria. So here's what I want to tell you. I'm going to do everything I can to convince people that they cannot murder their way out of this, neither side. They, you can't kill their way out of this. And they have to make a new beginning. It's not how many innocents have died in Gaza. Uh, that is the question. The question is, who bears responsibility for their death? And the, the answer to that, unquestionably, is Hamas. The war could be over tomorrow if Hamas surrenders, if Hamas puts down their weapons. The, the, the truth that, that Bill Clinton is alluding to here is that Hamas is not in it for the innocent Palestinians. They're not doing it on behalf of their people. They could care less about their people. They want Jews dead. They want Israel gone. That is the main objective. And so Israel needs to do what it needs to do to make sure that October 7th doesn't repeat itself and repeat itself as these terror groups have pledged to do. So it's not so much how many people have died, how many, but who bears responsibility for their death. And that where it lies squarely on Hamas. And I do like the way, by the way, that Bill Clinton did point out that who, as far as in, um, the, who are the indigenous people of the land, that that is the, the Jewish people. And he mentioned specifically Judea and Samaria as well. So I think those are, those are important points to make. And kudos to former President Clinton for making that, th those points. Uh, and, and God willing, we'll be able to see peace in the Middle East in the, in the near future in a real way, in a substantive way that lasts for generations.